What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of 5 Cool Mods. This is a series where I'm going to show you guys some cool mods to come out for Fallout 4 each and every week and soon we'll be actually expanding the series over to Skyrim Remastered. So if you really like this and you're a console user and want to see some cool console mods, look forward to that in the coming weeks. This week we do have an interesting bunch of mods. It's definitely a bunch of cool mods. They're not the greatest mods, not the worst mods in the world, but they definitely don't deserve their own videos. So it's kind of a mix mash bunch of interesting mods that you'll probably download and some of them you'll just like watching. With all that being said, if you guys do enjoy the series, I really encourage you to subscribe. But with that, let's get right into it. So first, we actually do have a pretty cool mod, the Phantom Blade. So it seems like this is going to be inspired by something from one of the Final Fantasy games. I've never played any of those games, and honestly, that's one of the game series that I don't know anything about. So I'm not even going to attempt to comment on it, just acknowledge that that is actually there. So what does this mod do? Basically, it adds in two new items. First and foremost, the sword, and then some kind of little throwing spears. With the sword, it's actually extremely cool. Basically, you have this toggleable item that as soon as you take out the sword, you'll get in your aid section. Upon clicking that item or kind of hotkeying it, I hotkeyed it to one, it'll change the function of the sword. So on function one, when you swing it, you'll basically teleport forward into where you were. But if you click it again, it'll work just as a normal sword. So this is actually really cool because you could find yourself teleporting around, meleeing enemies, getting behind enemies. And with melee weapons, this actually makes a lot of sense and is pretty practical to have. The other item is these little throwing spears that just teleport you. They're kind of just like throwing knives that wherever they hit, you'll teleport to that location. Not as cool as the sword, but still a pretty cool addition nonetheless. I want to see someone make like a montage or something with this mod. I just think there's so many practical applications. I'm just not good enough at Fallout 4 to use those and my character is not really kitted out for a melee build. Definitely one of those mods that even if you don't really like melee weapons, it's a good one to download and just play around with for a bit. So next up we have Star Wars the lightsaber. So you're going to see throughout this video my lightsaber is actually extremely glitched out. Unfortunately this is due to the way the lightsaber works. Basically D Magnus wanted to make this have a kind of glowing effect that glows on the ground and that coupled with some of the different EMBs out there, actually a lot of the different EMBs out there, doesn't really mesh all that well and that's why you have that kind of extreme glow going on. I had to leave that in for two reasons. One, taking and re-adding EMBs is actually a total nightmare. You just have to totally uninstall it, reinstall it, and I just didn't want to do that for this mod. And on top of that, I figure a lot of people out there probably use EMBs, especially on PC. Nonetheless, this is by far the definitive lightsaber mod. D Magnus has made a lot of really high quality mods, but I think this one is going to gain the most traction and become the most popular. There was a lightsaber weapon before called Lightsaber Renew. This blows that out of the water. Simply called the lightsaber, it has a ton of customizability options. That ranging from just new lightsaber color, so the actual blade color, and then you have a ton of different hilts, so you could have like a Darth Vader one, Luke Skywalker one, etc, etc, and that's like the handle thing, what you hold on to. Then you have different animations for pulling out the lightsaber, different things for putting it away, and just a few other options to really make this your own, even though it is kind of just, you know, a lightsaber. The sabers themselves are extremely high quality, obviously I couldn't do any close-up shots because it was like blinding. Nonetheless, I definitely recommend you guys download this, it's a ton of fun to use these kinds of mods, and this one definitely fits into the game very well. JK, that was a total lie, but hey, download it anyway. So next up we have the Leveler's Bunker, and this is like the definitive house mod for Fallout 4. When you're late game, don't want any BS and just want to have an efficient and practical place to store your stuff, this is what you want to download. Basically it adds in this location right off the coast of Vault 111. And you know, I've done mods like this before where it's kind of an underground thing, it has tons of locations, power armor storage, etc, etc. There's a few things about this mod that actually make it stand out to me as being much cooler. One, it's much bigger, there's a lot more of intricacies down here, so if you wanted to customize it, you totally could. On top of that, it's actually the item sorting system. This is a genius idea and I don't understand why more mods don't do this. Basically, as soon as you walk in, there's going to be a little crate right there. You could dump all of your miscellaneous items into that crate, really any item in your inventory, and then click a button that makes it sort. Then when you go to the main area where the bulk storage is, all your items will be sorted into their respective containers. And these are broken up pretty specifically, so different energy weapons, different heavy weapons, etc, etc. That feature alone would make this mod a download for me, but on top of that, it actually has a shop there. It's a little cheaty because you can kind of control what's in the shop, but you still do have to pay for it. And frankly, when you're in the later parts of the game, do you want to go hunting around that little last item you need? Personally, I don't. I'd rather just have a one-stop shop to get everything I really needed. 
So next up we have the immersive coffee mod. This is actually kind of a funny mod. Basically what it adds in is three new coffee makers that are really high quality and the textures on this are just, they're absolutely amazing. But you could actually use these to create different kinds of coffee, ranging from black coffee to immersive coffee and then even some Irish coffee with a little bit of whiskey in it. And then you could drink these coffees and get different bonuses and effects from them like a normal chem. It's a relatively simple mod but I just thought it was really funny and I really like the addition of it because you know there are a lot of major coffee drinkers out there. I'm actually one of them. And this adds coffee into Fallout 4 as a more practical substance that you could actually grow and use on the regular. So last but not least, we have the T-51 Nuka Jetpack, and that's actually the title, it's like not spaced. This is by M150, he's made quite a few different mods so far, the Institute Power Armor, the Night Power Armor, etc, etc. So I don't know what's going on with this episode of 5 Cool Mods, but I actually had a glitch with this one as well, and a glitch that I couldn't find anyone else having. Basically the jetpack wouldn't stay attached to my character, so when I walked away it would just kind of like glitch out there and not move around with him. Considering you probably won't have this problem when you download it, because I couldn't find a single report of someone having this problem, I figured I'd put it in the video anyway and assume it was just my setup and not anything else. Nonetheless, the mod actually does look really good. Basically, it adds in a Nuka Cola style jetpack for the T51 Nuka Cola armor added in by Nuka World. It's totally custom modeled and textured, and I think it just looks really cool. And it's nice to see these little smaller power armor additions. It's not a full set of power armor, but it definitely gives the T51 Nuka Cola power armor a little bit of more unique feel, and it'll probably incline me to use it more. That's probably gonna wrap it up for this one, though, guys. I do hope you enjoyed as always probably the glitchiest episode of this series i've done so far but that's okay because hopefully you won't experience the same issues that i did and spend as many hours trying to fix them as always i thank you for watching and i hope to see you all next time later